I could have taken you to Thoreau's house in Concord. Uh, I could have stopped off at the shack, literally a shack, that's just up the path here from Walden's Pond to be able to show you with where Thoreau lives. But really to get to the heart of who Thoreau is, I thought I'd have you join me with a picnic beside Walden's Pond. It's an incredibly beautiful place out here. You can see why Thoreau fell in love with it. He believed that simplicity was the key, that materialism was evil. And that shack that he had is uh, those four walls were very simple living. Uh, one of the locals that were passing by called out to me and said, you know, he would go over to his mom's to eat dinner. <laughs> so <laughs> he still clearly appreciated having the opportunity to be able to um, get a good hot meal um, from a home that had more to offer than his home did here. But um, the whole transcendentalist movement that Emerson and Thoreau really um, brought to the forefront in many Americans' minds was um, about finding peace and um, wholeness within yourself and not having to go beyond. And he believed that nature was really what offered that healing. And this is where he was inspired, Walden's Pond.